welcome to our new video channel Open Ledgers Weekly. It gives me great pleasure to be here introducing this uh, channel to you in front of the uh, beach uh, in the northern part of Denmark called the Bay. Uh, this area is with the city uh, up to our right uh, called Blackhus uh, as the nerve center for anything uh, in this part in the summertime. Right now it's just pure cold. It's Thursday, February 15, 2018, and the year where blockchain will start rolling out their first businesses connecting for that very much needed mainstream acceptance. Every time after live streams, we were basically receiving a lot of questions and feedbacks. It looks like increasing the amount of live streams with updates from Open Ledger is a good idea. We will now start from Thursday with pre-recorded videos, but we will probably shift to a live stream one day. Well, here comes some standard information to remember. Videos will be uploaded to our channel every week on Thursdays, 1500 UTC plus one hour, unless anything is announced. Duration? Well, not longer than 15 minutes. Topics in general to be highlighted is, well, of course, it will be updates about Open Ledger and our projects, as well as news related to the BitShares platform. It is the network upon which Open Ledger is building as well as testing its many business models in the works for final introduction. We will also have updates from our teams employees and ambassadors from across the globe. I will personally be looking forward to give more insight and understanding as to the DEX functionality. I will comment on the latest news and trends of crypto world as well. Last but not least, I invite all of you to become part of the content creation for this new channel. All you have to do is leave your questions and or your suggestions for topics below this video the broadcasting every week and I will basically cover the hottest of them in the following episodes of the Open Ledger Weekly. Depending on the amount of questions received, I'm open to the idea of actually turning every fourth video of the month into a, an FAQ session and I will then be using that entire session to answer all your questions. Today's topic is how to create an account on Open Ledger Dex. And next week I will actually show you then how to fund that account on Open Ledger with Bitcoins. See you again in one week. Now please enjoy the topic of this Open Ledger's Weekly. Welcome. Welcome to Open Ledger and the How To series. Uh, this is uh, the first of many uh, series to uh, begin, and um, I would like to take you really uh, by the hand and show you in which way Open Ledger uh, Dex is so special, as well as anything else uh, in the Open Ledger ecosystem. My name is Ronnie Bosing and I'm the CEO of Open Ledger. So today we start off by uh, showing you how to create an account on Open Ledger Dex. We will go directly on this info site that we have where we will actually start off uh, every single time. We will start off by entering the exchange itself. So we click on the exchange on the info site openledger.info. If it doesn't open right away and maybe show up here in the in the browser in it error just try to refresh the browser it may well be because of the traction and the the many people trying to access in the same time of this specific server so the first page we have here is the welcome page welcome to open ledger your decentralized exchange you have two options either as a new user to create an account or as an existing user to log in. We choose today to create an account as a new user. So we click on create account. 
The first you see here is two options, uh, either to choose between the wallet model with the bin file or brain key, or the account model with the login password pair. Password pair. Um, there are many different uh, ways and reasons why you should choose one for the other. My personal uh, choice is the wallet model where you are asked to save your bin file which is also the uh, where your private key is included and your password. I like to know what I have. Uh, it does mean that you have to be very much responsible about how you save things because that is vital for your further use of this platform. So I choose the wallet model uh, and I click on use the wallet model. So what we have here is then uh, the option to create uh, the account name. I will just as an example write my own name Ronnie Bosing and as you can see written like this uh, it says like it's a premium name which means also that basically you need to change uh, and use a dash or with a number or even no vowels so let me just try to put Ronnie Bosing one it works so here you are you know, I'm basically I uh, changed uh, the account name uh, to suddenly be okay now I enter an, uh, my own password and I do it twice provided it's the same it will say okay as you can see it's okay so before I push the create account let's just read what it says your web browser is your wallet when you create your first open ledger account an open ledger wallet will be automatically created as well and stored in your browser please enter your desired account name this name will be registered publicly on the blockchain and is your identifier for any transactions you make. Since this is your first account with OpenLedger, we are paying the registration fee for you to say welcome. Welcome to you, sir. Or ma'am. Or missus. Or miss. When you create your first account, I'm just thinking, I just wanted to add uh, a little information here. Um, for you to know you are right now using a browser-based web wallet so it means also that the key that allows you to access your account in future is stored in the cookies of your browser so at any time when you actually delete the cookies you will have to start all over that's where you basically will need the e um, the, um, the bin file uh, and your password for instance to access anywhere in the world that is another nice feature when you have the bin file that we are right now going to establish and the password you are able to access anywhere in the world on any kind of PC at any time 24 7 very nice so also uh, when you create your account you should be aware that the name you use for your account will be visible to anybody on the net especially on the blockchain that we're working on here so beware when you create this uh, if you wish to be anonymous uh, as a user well create whichever kind of account you wish if you wish to use it for corporate uh, uh, features or business or basically wish to uh, show everybody who you are with that account well of course um, you put maybe even your name it's up to you the last thing is that we are paying for the access of this account any account in future you would have to pay for yourself once again welcome to open ledger we will create the account and let's see what happens yes there you go so right now there's a new text here we need to create a backup in order to be sure we can use and get access to this account anytime in future I will read again your wallet is only stored in your browser so it's crucial 
that you create a backup that will enable you to recover your wallet if the data in your browser is lost. No one else can restore your account if you lose your backup. It is very important. So right now, we create a backup by simply saying create backup. Or actually not saying, of course, you click on this. So what you do here is you get this one that is actually your uh, bin file named. You click on download and you will uh, see uh, the possibility of saving it. And I have a, on one uh, folder uh, the possibility of saving this uh, bin file. The best thing you can do is basically save this in a USB key that you have available. Um, save it there. Don't save it on the computer. Save it on an external USB. That's really the best. Um, so I say save and you will also see it now down in the left of your uh, PC. So basically this is where we are now. You have saved your bin file. You have your password. So right now you have created your account. Do yourself a favor and save your bin file as well as your password, perhaps on a Word document or something. Put it in that the external USB and save it somewhere, not in the house, not in the office, but save it externally as well. And then basically what you do is you always have that second chance in case you are out of luck and your computer crashes or whatever. Let me just show you right now how your account looks like. Well, this is where we are. Now the next point or the next part as to how to use this account would be actually to uh, send funds to your account. That is in another um, session of the how to series. So you will have to look into the next series called how to fund your account on Open Ledger. I would like to show you right now where you do that, however. So basically just a quick look. You go under deposit withdraw. You have now the chances uh, of clicking on the gateway. It's already there set ready to go. You have the BTC. You have the deposit option. So what you basically need to do is click on this one, get new address. You see, now you have the Bitcoin address where that you need to use if ever you want to send Bitcoin to your account on Open Ledger Dex. All you need is click on copy address and then use that account number when you want to send funds to your Open Ledger Dex. Next time, I will show you how to send these funds from uh, one of the exchanges out there and I'll be using Bitstamp. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation of how to create an account. Once again, make sure that you save the bin file, which is right down here, as well as your password. Then you are really ready to rock and roll and enjoy the wonders of Open Ledger Dex. I would like to finally say that with the Open Ledger Dex will open uh, a world of so many interesting things where you will realize that you are actually trading on your own very, very wallet uh, of your own. And it allows you to finally even say that you are your own bank. Welcome to Open Ledger.